this is the format interface, uh, just as you log in and you should be able to create a new project here for the address here, the 600 uh, Northwest fifth street in Miami. The area that we recommend exporting to Revit is about 0.2 square miles. If you go uh, bigger than that, then it's a, a larger data set. And then you can just do confirm map area. Once the map area has been accepted, we'll be able to add the remaining components that we need for our proposal. Those will be the buildings and the property boundaries. We can go back to our library and start assembling our proposal. Let's first bring the buildings in, the roads, add, and the property boundaries, uh, lastly. Uh, so as you see, uh, the property that we're interested in, the lot is uh, this one here, and there are existing uh, construction. You can just select it and do edit base to make changes. Then you're going to select the building and do delete we will now create the site limit. So remember the site limit is where pharma is going to run the analysis. So in this case, we're going to do site limit. There's this tool here that is trace existing shape that saves us a lot of time. All you need to do is click on trace and select your boundary. And then you have the boundary created. So all this is ready to be sent back to Revit. And you can do that by going back here to the navigator and click on the ellipses and do Revit, send to Revit. And then you will see this little window come up saying that proposal has been sent to Revit. This means that any open session of Revit will have this connection. We go now to our Revit file. This is a blank file ready to uh, accept that proposal. We can just go here in the Messingen site, which is where you will find the Forma add-in. And now let's just do load proposal. So here you have your model and here is our uh, area of interest. Now, in this case, I would link a Revit file. In this case, I would have to probably move it and adjust it to the lot. Once that is completed, you are ready to update your Forma proposal. And you can do that by going to the Massing Insight again tab, and you will notice that the update proposal has become active. So if you click on update proposal, and select the 3D view and click update. And this is a very, very quick process, all right? As you see, this is all done. And now when you go to your formal proposal, you might not see any changes right away. That's because you will need to refresh the form screen. So once you do that and wait a couple of seconds here, you have your building. We were concerned that on the winter solstice, we wouldn't get enough light on this area. So we can run a quick analysis to find out how much light we will get. If you do run analysis for December 21st, which is the winter solstice and the time of the year that we're mostly concerned about, if we want to open this analysis and we can use the inspect tool and we can see that obviously this part here is getting very little sun hours in here is 1.8. So not ideal, right? So we would need to edit the configuration of this slab. So we have that already done in one of our proposals. So as you see, we added the pool and uh, shortened the slab, added some railing. All that was done in the live model in Revit. So as soon as you make modifications to your Revit model, the Forma plugin will pick up on that and will allow you to send those updates back to Forma for analysis. If we ran a quick analysis here, you can see that now we have, even in this darker spot here, we have six and a half hours around here. We have maximum sun time. 